Hello, and welcome back. It is so good to see you again. First things first, let's destroy the world. Oh wait, actually, there's a better way to do this. Let's just never have a world to begin with. Genius. Today we're doing a suggestion. I think it was a popular suggestion on my world shrinking video. So instead of the world shrinking this time, the world is gonna get bigger. And we're gonna do sort of a plus shape here because I've been struggling with getting four kingdoms to spawn on a small map. So let's try this. Is that enough space? Okay, there's a kingdom. Nope, not enough room. Okay. These people getting kind of nervous. Don't watch me set up a kingdom. Look somewhere else, look a different way. I understand that. Let's go like this, let's go like this. Oh, we got one. There we go. See, no one's looking. Just set up a kingdom. I'm not gonna peek. I'm just gonna pretend you're not here. All right. Oh, if we could get you guys to set up a fourth one, this would be so good. See, they're joining the other kingdom. I don't want you to join, okay? I want you to be self-starters. I want you to start your own thing. Come on, do it. Start your own kingdom. Look. No, they're way over there. Why would you want to join them? What have they ever done for you? Look, green shirt? Did you join this kingdom? For real? Okay, fine. I'll make the world a little bit bigger. How about that? You need a little more space? I respect that. Yeah, no, I don't work very well when I'm being watched either. So, I get it. But I swear, if this isn't enough space for you, so help me. Okay. She. Very cool. Okay, well now it's super lopsided. Okay, these people got way more space than they- They tricked me, dude. They scammed me. They were like, oh, give us more space. And they were like, ha ha ha, now we got the most space for our kingdom. Now that they're all set up, though, I'm gonna go ahead and connect them, I think. It was sort of like me tricking them in a way. Does that make sense? Okay, there's the starting island. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go, have some trees. Let's give them all six. Look, we got red, blue, green. All we need here is yellow. And that's kind of orange. All right, we got she, safety is the destiny, holy unu, forget remorse, burn doubt, forever vigilance. Forget remorse is so hardcore. It's like never feel bad, absolutely pulverize any doubt you have, and always be vigilant. Let's do psychopaths. I know that this doesn't necessarily say psychopath, but I kind of like the idea, you know? Okay, we use our axe in C. Okay, so these guys are kind of stupid. Idiots. <laughs> We are hope in the darkness. We got that one last time, didn't we? Or the light bulb boys from two videos ago? It's the return of light bulb boys. Safety is the destiny. We're gonna call them elbow pads, I think. Because if you're wearing elbow pads, you know, if you're protecting your elbows of all things, then you value safety above all else. You don't care if you look like an absolute geek. You want to be safe. And I respect that, but I also am going to make fun of you. Lightbulb boys jumped up by three somehow. And idiots are now up to seven. Elbow pads and psychopaths at six. I'm thinking every, like, five years we expand. Let me check the rules here. Angry villagers on. I'll turn this off in a little bit, but I don't want them to get wiped out by wolves at the beginning. We'll leave the disasters on, and we'll leave ages on, too. All right, let's bump up the speed a little bit, shall we? I want to make sure we expand the world a couple times before they declare war on each other, because that would be kind of sad. Oh, look, they're making dogs. That's so sweet. <coughs> Bummer, dude. Shouldn't have done that. And now you've got more space. Okay, everyone's staying pretty even. The psychopaths are in the lead because they're doing everything it takes. They're like, oh, the wolves are peaceful. Let's go ahead and eat them. Actually, no. They're having the wolves watch the kids while they're out working. Look at this. Yeah, could you keep an eye on Timmy while we're gone? Yeah, you got it. I'm not going to eat him. Not yet, at least. But you know who's in control of whether or not the wolves eat the kids? Me. I can flip this switch at any any second. And I think I just might. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh! <laughs> no, that'd be mean. Oh! <laughs> but for real, though. We're just gonna expand it frequently, but, like, not that much. How about that? See, I don't mind destroying their docks because they don't need them. There's only one landmass, so it's like, where are you gonna go, you know? You're gonna take your boat out just for, like, a little cruise, a little family vacation out to sea, and then come back? Sounds like something someone wearing elbow pads would do, doesn't it? Okay, everyone's staying pretty even, except for elbow pads are down by, like, Five, but that's okay. I've seen people come back from worse. Dang, they're really diligent. Oh, I guess fishing boats. Okay, that's... Sorry if you're making fun of you. That's actually a good reason to make a dock. Food, because a person's got to eat. Okay, and it's been another five years. We might slow this down as the world gets bigger, because I think this is maybe too often, just for our own sanity. I think me having to do this every, like, 15 seconds is maybe a bit much. Uh-oh, what if I lose my mind and become a quirky little guy because I did this too much? Oops, too late. Ooh, elbow pads swooping in going around the light bulb boys they're up by 
10 now. That man, we were just making fun of them. Now they're at 60. Everyone else is at 44 and 47. Whoa, 63. Look at them go up the coast. Okay, we're doing it every 10 now. So at 30, we'll do it again, and at 40, and so on. We will be getting a new age in the next... I don't know, 13, 14 years. So that's pretty cool. It looks like it's going to be Age of Moon, which does pretty much nothing for us, but it will look cool. I tell you what, it will look cool. Looks like Lightbulb Boys just made a new village over here. Good for you. Expanding. I think the trick is going to be basically what they're doing. It's kind of like blocking them out, because if the world keeps expanding, it's just going to give them more land, and it's going to trap them more and more. They were smart, though. They did the same thing to the idiots, and then idiots are actually kind of making a move to sort of do something similar to psychopaths, and psychopaths, I think, if they don't uh, do anything quick here, they're going to get blocked in. Although they're kind of, they're getting some lines here. Okay, here we go. Expanding again. There you go. Let's make it bigger and bigger. Oh, poor dog. I'm sorry. That feels bad. They just keep building them too every time. I mean, why wouldn't they? Obviously, you're, you're going to want to do that anyway. But they're going to get destroyed every 10 years. But I guess fish as much as you can before that happens. Let's see if Elbowpads takes this uh, coastal region here. If they can just box them in, that would be so sweet. It looks like psychopaths are kind of trying to box in elbow pads a little bit, but they're not being aggressive enough. Like, elbow pads is kind of blocking them off, but they were kind of making a move down the coast. They're blocking idiots over here from moving any further than they already have. So that's good. Ooh, we got a war coming up. Oh, Age of Dark. Oh, it's not Age of Moon. It's funny that Age of Dark has the moon on it. I guess it's not a full moon now, is it? Okay, so it's dark now. We can't really see what's going on, but there's a war. There's a bunch of wars coming. Okay, the darkness is making everyone go crazy. Especially the light bulb boys, because remember from earlier, they are, after all, the hope in the darkness. The hope for whom? I don't know. Ooh, Meteor just strikes elbow pads down here. Good thing it didn't hurt you guys, right? Because of the pads? That's right, didn't do anything. Okay, two kingdoms just declared war on the idiots. Psychopaths and light bulb boys are just destroying them. Psychopaths behave, I guess, how we should have expected, and they just move really quickly and take that over very, very fast. And I think they're going to take over the entirety right there. Dang, and this region was lost. No one gets this region. Idiots were just taking it over right as they got eliminated. So now there's just like this empty space here. No way, elbow pads. What were they even doing here? How were they so fast? All right, someone's, uh, someone's working together behind the scenes. Okay, well, now psychopaths pass has half the map. Also, it's time to expand. Boom. There you go. This is going to get more and more interesting because, like, right now, they've got half the map, but it kind of gives everyone an opportunity to swoop it, you know? Oh, what are you doing? Are you going to fight the light bulb boys or psychopaths? Because I do not think you can beat psychopaths right now. Did they do it? Did they not? Did they change their minds? Oh, they, like, decided not to. Okay. I feel like you should have. Time to expand. The uh, grass didn't really grow, did it? Elbow pads declared war on light bulb boys here, and they are making some quick work of them. Oh, whoa. They took over this back region, though. Elbow boys really need to take all of this and quick, because otherwise they're not going to be much of a match for psychopaths. Come on, guys. You got this. Forget safety for a moment here. Only violence. Okay. Light bulb boys are destroyed. Nice. Now it's like half and half, although psychopaths have a lot more population. Probably because they have just been sitting here with half the map this whole time but uh, you know what I feel confident and elbow pads okay I'm getting a little bit uh, tired of it being so dark but um, that's okay let's actually go ahead and manually catch up the grass here because it's taking forever man maybe we're just moving too quickly for it but goodness gracious okay there we go I think it's time to expand yep Eventually, we won't be able to expand anymore, but I don't know if everyone's going to live that long. Not to say I don't have confidence in my people here, but uh, safety only goes so far. What's an elbow pad going to do when you're being chased by 470 psychopaths? Nothing, probably. Meteor hit off the coast. No deaths. Elbow pads, 400. Psychopaths, 500. How's the king doing? The absolute king of safety. Pava, no kills, of course, because uh, that's not very safe to kill people. And the king of the psychopaths, bind them up. Six kills, naturally. They haven't even been at war in a while, so who are you killing? You're like, neighbor? Kind of sketchy. Okay, 540 to 430. You guys gotta, like, take some of this land over here. I mean, you used to have it. Just take it back. You already built the houses. Just move in. Yeah, sure, make some new ones. Forget about these ones. Look how sad they look. Okay, time to expand. We'll probably slow down the rate of expanding soon because I feel like this is just way too fast now but uh for now it's not bad oh interesting elbow pads went around and swooped the other side if they can hold this and just swoop down the coast here that would be really nice for them because they're not down by that much they're down by like 60 right now they're doing pretty well looks like oh man psychopaths just 
founded like five new villages like super quick one two three four five okay well that's bad news i think the elbow pads had a good idea but they were just a little too slow and they got blocked in but that would have been it if they could have blocked the edge of the coast that would have been great although i don't know what's going on here they're really not trying they haven't expanded at all look at how much more psychopaths have done Ooh, age of despair that is bad news for everybody that is very bad news for everybody also bad news for us because it's still dark it's hard to see what's going on and also i'm scared but there's gonna be ice people you don't believe me they're out there i can feel them cold shivers go down my neck we got people freezing over here it's because of the signature move of the ice ones where they sneak up behind you and put an ice cube down the back of your shirt freezing you instantly yeah look at that ice ones big conflict this isn't looking good fellas i mean unless you're rooting for the psychopaths then like you know this is great news for you but is that what you want to do 560 to 660 they're still staying close okay it's time to expand i'm doing it every 15 years now and then we'll do 20 next time i think and then eventually we'll hit the edge so the world has expanded okay 520 to 570 they're only like 50 60 different right now. There's so many cold ones. This is such a long age, too. It's such cruelty. 610, 510. Uh oh, a mage on the coast. As always, they spawn somewhere that they get stuck. You're gonna be there a little while, dude. Hopefully, you don't get hungry. Oh, wait, he can teleport. Okay, you'll be fine. 550 to 5. Whoa, Elbow Pads just took the lead. They're having a hard time with the cold ones out here. That's some bad luck, partner. I don't know how much this actually matters because I feel like it's still kind of random, but yeah, Elbow Pads is up by 50 now. If they can enter the next age with a higher number and then declare war maybe there's a, maybe there's a chance the next stage looks like it's age of hope so it'll be a normal age oh they just caught up again 550 to 550 all right well i don't know about that but uh you know what they tried this little village over here is kind of cracking me up they're all starving like on the farm the farmers are starving how does that even work i guess the food isn't growing fast enough dang that's a bummer oh we got a war here Fellas, Ebel Pads is about to declare war on psychopaths, and they're up by 20 at the time. There's another world expansion, and the war has begun. The ice ones are still in there, or the cold ones, or whatever they're called now, are still in there. Combined with psychopaths fighting elbow pads, it's just a mess. Oh, a huge hit to population. Down by 150, like instantly. Fellas. You gotta get in there. You gotta take some regions back. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta ally with the, with the cold ones. You gotta, you gotta crack open a cold one with the cold ones and befriend them. Please, don't let the psychopaths rule the world. Dang, the mage just lit up a farm. Okay, if that guy can kill a bunch of people on this side, that could slow them down quite a bit. Where did he go, though? Oh, they're taking some regions. Look at this population difference. No way, are they gonna try to cut them down the middle? Okay, where's the mage? Mage, you're making me feel paranoid. Where are you at? Their populations are staying steady. With all the ice ones mixed in, it's it's like they're at war, but they're also like their homes are being destroyed by <laughs> the ice ones. Hey, look at that. Age of Hope. Appropriately named because all the ice melts and everyone can be happy again. Look how nice this is. I feel like we haven't seen this in forever. It's beautiful. Also, it looks like it does maybe slow down grass growing, so I feel like it's going faster now. Maybe it's just my imagination, but this is like not catching up. Let's just go ahead and fill in the edge of the map now because I feel like we're at that point. Might as well. We now have a full square map. Boom. You got all the land you could ever want and no fishing, might I add. Yeah, if, if uh, elbow pads can just take one more region. Oh, they're losing this one big time. 390 to 400. They're actually doing really well. They're still up. I'm still rooting for them. Come on, guys. You got this. Did all the ice ones go away? Tell me they go away. It looks like it. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Is the mage over here? Where did he go? I'm so scared. <laughs> He's just gonna pop up anyway. He's just gonna jump scare us at some point. Okay, take this one. Yep, there we go. Oh, and they lose one. Man, take this one. That'd be great. Right on the edge here. Come on. Yeah, there you go. They're just flipping back and forth. Man, they just lost two in a row. They're taking one back. No one's making any progress. This is sort of part of having angry villagers on, is there's more people to fight, so it's easier for them to, like, defend or, like, retake villages. Maybe? I don't know. It seems like that's part of having that law on. There you go. 700? Come on, hold it. Hold it, dude. It's defense is important. They're holding it. Nice. That's like the first one they've actually prevented from being taken. No way. Look at that. They're crushing them. 270 to 800. They're taking it back. You take one back and they take two right from you. Boom. Boom. Come on, grass. You can play along too. Take this land. What's this? What's going on here? You're just going to let them have that? Was a little early birthday present for them? Yeah, go ahead and have it. We don't care. Isn't this the farm people were starving at earlier, though? Maybe this is just a cursed region. There you go. Two more villages left. Let's see you take them. Make me proud, elbow pads. Down to one left. 38 population to 
a thousand. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Elbow pads were down for a while when psychopaths originally took over half the island, but they slowly crept up and then as soon as like Age of Despair happened, they like attacked the psychopaths while they were being beaten up by the ice one so that was kind of a smart little play there you know what they say safety is destiny have you noticed that whichever kingdom i like make fun of at the beginning they're usually the one that wins they had something to prove and they proved it i'm gonna go put on some elbow pads right now and i'm gonna live a safer life i swear it all right thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this i will see you next time big thank you to everyone who suggested this idea i think it was pretty cool okay bye eat your vegetables